And obviously, Paula, this is going to be a really sensitive moment in this trial. Yeah. We talked about how personal this will be for Donald Trump. Karen McDougal is one of the most personal parts of this because she alleged that not only that they had an affair, she said they had a relationship. And this yeah. was something that when I, I know from covering the White House and covering Melania Trump, that was deeply upsetting for the first, the former first lady, Melania Trump. And it created a rift in the relationship between her and Donald Trump. Everyone talks about Stormy Daniels. And yes, that certainly was there as well. But Karen McDougal, I, what we were told at the time, agitated Melania Trump more so, actually, than Stormy Daniels had. And you can understand that because the Stormy Daniels relationship, I mean, she says publicly in her new documentary, it appeared to be quite transactional. There were some sexual encounters, but she kept up the relationship talking to him because she wanted to be uh, on The Apprentice. And once it's clear that wasn't going to happen, she sort of dropped him. But Karen McDougal, as she tells the story, it was, in her, from her viewpoint, a romantic relationship that went on for some time. Traveling together, uh, it was much more of an intimate relationship again according to her account of events so it's completely understanding why that would be frustrating and annoying uh, to Melania and something that Trump would not want out in the public. Yeah and, and David Pecker says that Howard who was a reminder was the editor-in-chief of the National Enquirer called him in June 2016 a notable month and year obviously about a Playboy model who is trying to sell a story about a relationship that she had with Donald Trump for a year. As I noted, it was a longer relationship, not just simply uh, a one-time affair. Jake, obviously, this is a critical moment here in this because this is one of the key stories that they can zoom, zoom in on that David Pecker has an immense amount of knowledge about. I mean, they sent emissaries to go and meet directly with Karen McDougal about this story. Right. So this is a catch-and-kill story that uh, there seems to be more grounds to believe it to be true uh, than the doorman story.